This video is for setting up the DP uh, calendar counter and it's going to count down to our next event. So what we need to do is uh, either find the counter that we've already got installed or we need to install a new one. So let's go ahead and hit counter in here because I do have one already uh, listed. And there it is, DP counter. And let's open this up and take a look. So we have DP counter as its uh, title and we're going to select a position and I think I'm going to put this on the right side of the protostar default template and that's going to be right here position 7 and we're going to publish it and that's about all the choices we have on this one. Let's go to options we need to select a calendar now there's no events on this one so let's pick a, a different calendar, the company calendar and so we do have some events there so filter if there's a word or an event, let's say it's a holiday, we want to type in, uh, um, I don't know, uh, Halloween. We could type in Halloween and it would, it would find that event and then count down to that event. Or it's just going to do them in order. So I'm going to leave that blank and it's going to be the next event that's coming up is going to count down to. And here's our event output. We'll look at this in just a moment. Uh, for our uh, menu assignments, let's have it on all pages for this demo. I'm going to push save. And so it's going to be on the right side of our calendar. I go up here and let's click on our calendar. And uh, actually, there's our, our uh, posting from before. We'll clear that out. You'll see that this will change. This is uh, the standard default output of the DP counter. And I want to show you real quick uh, a, a different look. And I'm going to post this on the uh, forum, um, the, uh, the documentation on the DP calendar website. So it's counting down to this event. So here's the 19th of today, and then here's the event coming up um, on Wednesday. And it's counting down to that. So let's go ahead and look at this, um, this event, this event output. If I click the site and I go to options again, there's our event. And now I have uh, in my notepad a different template. And I, if I uh, control C and then We'll come over here and let's do uh, control A and control V and paste it in there. Now I've got a new look. I'm going to push uh, save. And we're going to enter this in here in the calendar. We'll need to do a refresh. F5 I'm pushing. And it's now going to show in a little different uh, format. Well, some people like this, some people don't. But uh, you can go ahead and customize the look and get a different uh, idea. Some people don't like the box. You can take the box out. You can change the size. But uh, by having some different examples in the documentation, it should help you um, select the right one for you. So we'll go ahead and add some of those different looks to that, and then you can uh, select which ones you like. So that's setting up the TP counter, and that's about it for that. Very simple.